a legend of the Roman city. Per me oggi è un momento altro che quando ho smesso di giocare, cioè staccarmi dalla Roma per me. Oggi potevo anche morire. One of the most charismatic footballers of his generation, a pillar of the Azura squad and one of the biggest strikers in history. It's time to dive back into the Capitano story. Francesco Totti. Subscribe to Megafoot, the best of football in video. Francesco is a pure Romanista. He was born in Rome, has been a supporter of the AS Roma since he was a child, and had posters of Giuseppe Giannini all over his room. He started playing football in his local club, Fortitudo. His father, Lorenzo, is a pastor and does not pay much attention to football. It was his mother, Fiorella, who accompanied him and took him back to training every evening. Francesco's talent and motivation were evident from an early age. AC Milan offers young Francesco the chance to come to their academy, but the mother did not want her son to leave his hometown. Totti finally joined his beloved club at the age of 12. He made a big impression in the youth ranks, so much so that the coach, Vujadin Boskov, gave him a chance in the senior team on March 28, 1993, in a match against Brescia. It was a four-minute start but the 16-year-old boy played the first of his 786 games with a club he would never leave. For two seasons, Francesco had to make with a few bits of games until the 1994-95 season when Carlo Mazzoni made him a regular member of the team. He scored his first goal at the Stadio Olimpico on September 4th. The following season, he made his European club debut, reaching the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup against Slavia Prague. At the time, Francesco Totti was not yet a serial striker. From 1997 onwards, the goals began to pour in with the arrival of Fabio Capello, who really got the new Capitano off the ground. He progressed tactically and physically and his stats skyrocketed. 16 goals and 18 assists, to the point of being voted best young player in Serie A. The following year, he was voted best player in Serie A, but Roma remained stuck in fifth or sixth place. That's when another great striker with extravagant hair arrived, Gabriel Batistuta. With the Argentinian, Vincenzo Mantella, and Francesco Totti in the attacking trio, the Romans are ready to win the Scudetto they've been waiting for for 18 years. Vincere uno Scudetto Roma, per me, è come se ne vincessi 10 in altre parti d'Italia. 46 goals between them, including 13 from Francesco Totti, who sealed the title in the final victory over Parma in 2001. Il Capitano became the idol of the Roman people. On the pitch, he is one of the best, as evidenced by his four consecutive titles of best player in Serie A but he is also a leader of men, a gladiator who fights like nobody else, ready to give his life for his club and city. Francesco keeps on scoring. From the right, from the left, powerful shots from 30 meters, or little lobbed caresses that fly over the goalkeepers. The Cucciaia, a little peaked ball or panica on a stopped phase is one of Francesco's favorite gestures. He even indulged in his sweet gesture in the Euro 2000 semifinals during the decisive penalty shootout against Edwin van Bersar. With the Squadra Azura, Totti experienced several disappointments at the 2002 World Cup where he was severely sent off against Korea. At Euro 2004, he spat in Christian Poulsen's face. Injured in 2006, he was called up in extremis by Marcello Lippi for the World Cup. He finished as the best passer and won the trophy with Fabio Cannavaro and Marco Manarazzi. It was the apotheosis of his international career, which he would end the following year to concentrate on Roma. Totti was 30 years old at the time, but he was not about to hang up his boots. His impeccable lifestyle and his love for Roma promised him many more years of football. The following year, he scored 26 goals to win his first Serie A top scorer award. The city's prodigal son had become the king of Rome. It would be criminal not to honor his right-hand man. Daniel De Rossi is such the iconic nature of the duo at the Roman club. The two children of the city are the Giallo Rossi's two most capped players with 1,501 games between them. Il Capitano and Il Capitano Futuro knew the curse that befell the Roman club in the late 2000s. AS Roma finished in second place three times in the league between 2007 and 2010. Totti still scores more than 15 goals per season, and in 2011, the Los Angeles Galaxy offered him a golden bridge to join California. 
But Francesco continues to write his story with Roma, with whom he erases records one by one. With 307 goals, he is Italy's top scorer in all competitions. In 25 seasons, he played 786 games, including 619 in Serie A, only beaten by Paolo Maldini and Gianluigi Buffon. Francesco played for Roma until he was 40, becoming the oldest player to score in the Champions League at 38 years and three days against Manchester City. He is one of those legendary players who embody the soul of an entire club. His loyalty, his exemplarity, and his charisma have marked the history of football and even of his city. L'amore nei confronti di, questa, di questi colori eh, è normale che poi, come ho sempre detto, i presidenti passano, eh, gli allenatori passano, i giocatori passano, le bandiere non passano. In Rome, he was the pupone, the prodigal son, the gladiator and then the king. He bowed out on May 27, 2017 in Estadio Olimpico that paid tribute to his hero with tears in his eyes. Grazie Capitano! Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't hesitate to talk about our channel around you, to like it, to share it. See you soon for a new video. Ciao!